Before we begin with the lesson, I just want to reiterate some of the things that I talked about in some of our previous lessons before we had to go digital. With the oil pastels, remember we really want to focus on layering and adding the colors on top of each other. When blending, I recommend always taking the lighter of the colors and blending that color into the darker colors. You have a lot more control that way compared to grabbing the darker color and pulling it and blending it into the lighter color. Remember that you can add white. And as you'll hear me say throughout our lesson today, you're going to want to continue to build up the color. All right, so nowhere on your page should there just be one color. What I'm looking for are for those colors to be built and layered on top of each other. That way when we blend, there's multiple colors to actually be blended together. All right, to start, you are going to take a light pencil and you are going to block in where you want everything to go. Make sure you do it lightly because chances are you're gonna to have to erase some of the lines. Once you get your lines sketched in, you're going to grab your oil pastels and then you're going to block in, but you're gonna block in with color. So you're gonna get a rough base of just the colors and then later on, you're gonna go back in and add the finer details. When you're blocking in with your color, make sure you are doing overlaps of different colors. That's gonna help later on when you begin to blend the colors together. Next, what you can do is grab a paper towel or a napkin. Um, oftentimes, what I do is I fold it three or four times, and then you can use that as a blending stick. You're gonna go over all of your colors that you overlapped, and you're gonna blend those together. So one thing that I'm doing here is I'm adding more detail as I go. So I go and I blend for a little bit, then I come back and add a little detail. Blend again, add a little bit more detail with some more oil pastels. If you need to go back in and add some parts, like for example I just added some grass underneath the hills, feel free to do that at any point. So for this work, touching on what we read about, we have our background, which is the sunset, we have our middle ground, which is the grass and the water, and then we have our foreground, which is the tall grass, and then later on some of the trees. Your work should have all three of those elements as well. And what you're going to do is you're going to keep adding up and keep building up that color and keep building up those details until you get to the point that you like. <laughs> 